So I went and I asked her, I was like, Mom, do you have my social security number? And she was like, you don't have a social security number. So I was like, wait, what? So how am I in school? And she was like, um, when I enrolled her in school originally, they didn't ask for a social security number. They just asked for your basic information and your birth certificate. I was like, wow, I don't have a social security number. That means I'm undocumented. Democrats in the House of Representatives proposed an immigration reform bill addressing border security, legalization of the undocumented, interior enforcement of immigration laws, and fixes for our dysfunctional legal immigration programs. This bill, which is based on a previous bipartisan bill passed by the Senate by a vote of 68 to 32 on 27 June 2013, proposes the removal of the controversial corker hoven Border Security Amendment, which was heavily criticized for indiscriminately militarizing the border at a very high cost to the U.S. government. Additionally, this act leaves much to be desired as advocacy for laws such as the ones proposed by the DREAM, Agricultural Guest Worker, and American Families United Acts appear to be distant in the recent light shed on border patrol violence directed at illegal immigrants. In a recent inquiry conducted in El Paso, Texas, Local residents were asked what they thought about the use of force on illegal immigrants by Border Patrol agents, as well as what suggestions they had for a reform regarding the subject. I think it's unnecessary to use violence against people, especially if there is no violence involved from that. Those people. See, uh, self-defense would be okay. They could take away their gun or that's a reason. And they could hire more passive people like them. We will probably want to use violence. Sometimes it depends on the method used to cross and if they're struggling on it, I would say. Depends on if they have weapons or if they're... It just depends on the circumstance, but typically no, I feel like it could be done without violence. While the majority of those interviewed agreed there was a need to restrict the actions of the Border Patrol agents, there were those, such as a woman in East El Paso who preferred not to be shown on camera, but who did not feel there was a need to limit the power of the agents, but who did not feel that there was a need for any reform besides maybe stricter policies for undocumented individuals. You can hear the agent yelling in Spanish for the guy to give him his arm. The undocumented worker is face down on the ground. The man in the blue t-shirt appears to be a citizen who stopped to help. The detainee is pleading with the agent to use the bathroom, but the agent continues trying to handcuff him. You can see him punching and kneeing the man in the back. U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents used a taser and batons to subdue a man, his screams captured by another witness. <laughs> Hernandez Rojas died two days later. The coroner said it was from the beating. A federal grand jury has been investigating. The agents say he was resisting. He was crossing this border illegally. Meth was found in his system. But critics say the agents used excessive force and that Rojas is not an isolated case. From 2004 through 2010, there were 315 complaints of abusive treatment, profiling, and other violations by border agents. 19 people have been killed by agents in the last three years. 